afternoon. So uh, you guys can talk whatever you want, but this is my max tow. I will not tow anything heavier than this. I've already towed it once. It wasn't scary. It was just slow going and, you know, plan to brake ahead. I had already had one uh, jerk wad cut me off, so I slammed on the brakes and they worked great. I don't want to do that type of stuff, but in that emergency, which I cannot believe that guy cut me off, the truck, the trailer, everything is still safe. I technically still have 1,600 pounds or 2,300 pounds with the truck and the trailer itself, I still have almost, I have nearly 5,000 more pounds I can put on this trailer before it's maxed out. But the truck now is actually my limitation. So this is a CP, CP56B uh, to get this guy strapped down. The tires are squatting a little bit, like there's actually finding a load on this trailer. The truck's barely squatting. I know the moment it moves, it squats down just a little bit more. I got just a rad amount of tongue weight. I actually looked at one of my old photos when I towed it the first time and I put the sucker in the exact same spot so I didn't have to mess with anything. But uh, th right here is the happy medium with the truck and the trailer. Uh, it had very little bounce to it. That's the biggest thing. When you start rocking and bouncing and hucking and bucking, that is a very, very annoying tow. So I try to minimize that the best possible. So this is what we got going on here. This is our uh, video for the day. As the uh, cluster of a job site I got going on, I haven't taken a lick of video on that. But uh, I mean, we got the D6 out there. We got the water truck out there. I did not tow the D6. I towed the water truck here. As you guys saw, I towed that 920 out here. Got homeboy over there filling everything up. Today was a heck of a day. We cut into the entire road, finished up the pads and all that good stuff. That is a huge machine and I already measured it. I'm within height. I'm like, uh, what was it? I'm 13 feet dead in height with this thing. So uh, yeah, Let's get this thing strapped down. Ready to go home. So loading these things you want to take it easy and slow. They are not the easiest machine to load onto a trailer. They slip around, they have terrible traction, and when you're trying to center it up, you got the rear end doing something else and the front end's doing. This load actually took me twice to get it centered properly because my blade on the front of the machine was hanging up. You can see it slipping right there. It is uh, not the most fun thing to be loading onto a truck all the time. But it gets the job done. Just take it slow, take it easy, and be careful. There you go. So these rollers are definitely assholes to these cleats right here. Not as bad as that D3 was. It doesn't, I mean, kind of moves around a little bit, but it doesn't uh, peel up the, this entire piece. You saw my last video, this entire piece peeled up. That one sucked. All right. These binders been doing me quite well also. I would not mean would not mind having some speed binders, but uh can't really afford that right now. Spend a bunch of money on other things. All in good time. This thing, again, this is the maximum. I wanna, even though technically I still have some give and weight. But considering what I already have on me, I'm probably maxed out. I mean, here's a dude with a storm. A quick little life hack. So, this is the same chain right here. See that? But you can do that because it's not working off of two sides. This is its own chain. So you still have all the strength of that chain. 
I like two pulling back. We got big Betsy loaded up and I'm kind of curious when you get on the throttle what these what the suspension does I might maybe I'm down board I don't want to sit in the dirt but uh, yeah so this is the machine here's your ultimate tow test for the 2020 Ram 3500 so uh, let's get going it's three o'clock on the dot a little bit of throttle get up and on out I was gonna bit of bounce and double check all the chains real quick, make sure nothing came loose. And on this one, I'm not worried about putting anything on the cutting edge because these have pads and they're not really made to cut anything. So the deck of the trailer is fine. That's tight. See how much pressure we're putting down. Those tires are squatted real good. That's tight. It's also tight. Flip that over so it doesn't start. I hate the sound of rattling chains on the deck. It's very, very annoying. Uh, yeah. The truck's squatting a little bit. Not more than it has before. One time I had a skid steer on the trailer that had too much tongue weight and I was squatting that much. So I know I got a good solid five or 6,000 pounds of tongue weight. All right, let's get going. And it's still back there, if you can see it. So again, with all my loads, I let the exhaust brake do the work. Um, my, my trailer brakes are at dialed at three. So I'm just gonna let the exhaust brake do its thing. I don't have enough RPMs to really, to really do much right now. But I mean, I'm, my trailer brakes are at three and it's still stopping extremely quick. Yeah, it's gonna be different if you're on the highway you're doing 55 or 60 miles an hour, then you're gonna start eating up brake real quick. But uh, you know, of course, when you go slow, they're gonna stick a little bit better and slow you down. But here we go, using the exhaust brake again. And now we're using service brakes. I'm barely on them. I am barely on the service brakes. I wanna give you guys there's another stop sign. I'm gonna shut off the trailer brakes all the way. And I'm gonna show you what this truck can do. And yeah, I'm gonna be heavy on the brakes, going 25 miles an hour. Okay, the exhaust brake's kicking on. Let's do 25, and I'm gonna hit the brakes now. So I'm pushing very hard on the brakes now, and the truck is still coming to a good controlled stop. Ske sketchy of a stop, but still controlled. Let's, uh, let's put these trailer brakes back up because those things are definitely a night. Oh, shit. They kicked on. All right. Let's get going here. And I think I got enough tongue weight this time. I'm not going to be breaking loose on the uh, on the rear axle. If I do break loose now, I think I'm just going to destroy a ring of pinion. Here you go. Here's some exhaust brake work for you. 160. This thing is hit. This exhaust brake goes up to like 225 on horsepower on braking. So uh, she kicks some butt. But again, I just plan ahead. Look, look, look off in the distance. You know, when someone cuts you off, you can't really do much about it. This is a very heavy load, um, but it's not like I feel comfortable, but it's manageable. It's, it's more than capable. I still feel safe with it. Um, you know, I got more than enough chains and binders on the thing. Um, it just, it looks bigger. That's about it. I mean, if you were to have just a big old block of steel that weighs as much as this, it's like, oh, it can't be that bad. It's just the overall size of the machine. Yeah, it's still a heavy machine, but I'm still within my limits. If I have to, I tow this weight. Um, I'll definitely want to stay out of the mountains and stuff like that. This is definitely a flatland kind of a tow. 
but if I had to tell it the mountains, I know it's still gonna pull the grades. I pulled one small little grade with this thing. It was maybe, I don't know, maybe a 5%. Uh, but it was, it was something short, but still I was able to, I mean, I was throttling up it. I didn't get any momentum or anything like that. So it was more than capable. Uh, going down grades, um, I would sure as heck be doing maybe 30, 35 miles an hour with the uh, second gear running at 26, 2700 RPM on the exhaust brake uh, to keep that load held back the best possible, play it as safe as possible. Um, I mean, I've brought down, uh, down to 8% grade I was doing 35 miles an hour and I had, what the heck did I have? I had the skid steer and that M62 tractor and I think those combined is like 18 or 19,000 pounds. Um, I have a video on that, but it wasn't going down the grade, but you know, taking it back from my house, I got a few 8%ers. So the truck was more than capable of handling that. Uh, so, I mean, this is a whole nother story. I mean, this is an another, this is a full another seven, 8,000 pounds. So, and that weight stacks up. It's like. This truck has no problem whatsoever with 22, 23,000 pounds. It does it just fine. It's like when you cross that 25,000 pound threshold, you re then you start really feeling the weight. You, you really do. You know, everything starts pushing you a little bit more. So uh, that's kind of my, that's my stop point. So 26,000 pound machine, I think 26,707 pounds uh, is what they rated at, what it weighs. So, I mean, there's a little bit of mud caked on there. Um, I don't have any fuel in the in the tank now. I mean, I probably got a few gallons left, but my partner took the rest of it in his truck so he could fill up the equipment. But uh, I don't know, I probably got like 15 gallons in there or something. So I'm just rambling. Let's uh, get on the road. I don't I don't have a short haul for this thing, so I'm not too I'm not even worried about it. And I'm on a smooth highway, so that's kind of the nice part. No back roads. When I first picked this thing up, though, it was all on back roads <laughs> coming to my job site. So that was a rough, rough, rough ride. Um, for example, I mean, look at me now. I'm not bouncing around or hopping around doing 55-ish. And uh, again, a smooth, smooth ride. The only bumpy ride I've ever had was with that dozer. And that was, I, I just had it a little bit too far forward. But I mean, this thing weighs a lot more than that dozer weighed. And again, an extremely smooth ride. I'm not bouncing around. The truck's not swaying back and forth. So uh, I got nothing but good things to say about this setup. So uh, I'm just gonna hurry up, take my time, hurry up, whatever, and uh, get to the rental guys and drop this thing off because I'm sick and tired of paying for this thing. All right, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're here, we're alive. Get this sucker off my trailer. so much more convenient. As long as I have enough fuel, there's only 90% fuel. Day up, clean off this deck, put the chains away. All right, that's.
that's it we're done got that sucker dropped off topped off filled up i wonder one of these days i feel like i'm gonna forget to put that tail back up i don't know why just had a feeling i didn't do it but i had a feeling i'm gonna do something like that one of these days when i'm not paying attention but again easy tow i mean heavy tow pay attention kind of a tow but done everything is within spec or standards or weight so uh hope you guys enjoy it's just a short 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 video just we just want to show you guys this truck can haul weight and this trailer can withstand weight and especially with a drum that's metal that's harder than heck on the deck and remember that is pine deck decking and each one of those pucks aren't sitting all the way flush so it's putting a lot of pressure on specific spots it's not spreading it out completely um the trailer's a beast again it's a diamond c f max 216 and the thing kicks butt every time and paired with this truck you got the perfect combination just like my last video but uh that's it for is it for this video sorry my camera died but thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe and have a good one